Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pre-Chelsea press conference and I'm very excited because finally I come head to head with the biggest ego, biggest manager Jose Mourinho, really really looking forward to our clash. Any questions? I'm Frank from the Sunday Times and what do you think about Jose Mourinho saying in his pre-Liverpool press conference that Watford have a stronger chance of winning the Premier League than Liverpool? Mourinho also said that he wouldn't be surprised if Liverpool got relegated. What? What did Mourinho say? Really? What is your reaction to that? He will park the bus again, won't he? I bet he will park the bus. But uh, Jose Mourinho, Chelsea side are in 6th place. He can talk the talk, but let's see if he can walk the walk. Jose Mourinho is a great manager, but he lacks class. Every time his team loses, he tries to blame it on the physio, the tea lady, the computer, his cat, the fans. Uh, he, everybody is responsible bought him. When I make mistakes, I will own up and I will admit them. Now let's play them. What is up guys, it's Tom here and we are back with the Liverpool Carrier World Show. Thank you so much for your awesome support on the previous episodes. Keep the likes up and I will keep uploading daily in this series. And also let me know in the comments below what kind of storylines, cutscenes do you want to see? Do you have any press conference ideas, questions? Post them in the comments. Well, let me know what are your predictions for the Arsenal Man United, sorry, the Man United Arsenal and the Everton Liverpool game. What do you think will happen in those two games in the Premier League? And we are playing Jose Mourinho and Chelsea and I'm so pumped for this game. I just want to beat Mourinho's team so bad. They are four points behind us in the league table. But make no mistake, this will be a very hard, difficult game. What a strike! Uh, it was Mikel! Thankfully he missed it. Love that. Love that. Love that. Emerson, boom! Oh, great attack. Continue. To Ings. Curve one, why not? Hmm. Get on Ings, get there! What? Oh, <laughs> I took out Courtois. <laughs> oh, go on. Milner! Oh, good, good shot that was. Love that. <gasps> oh my god. Inks bang! Oh, get on the rebound! No, I can't believe we haven't scored in this game yet. James Milner. Let's go. Coutinho. Coutinho. Moreno. Somebody! Coutinho, please! Firmino! What is that? Are you serious? I, w I had a shot. That was a shot. I gave it away. Oh, come on. No. Not like this. <gasps> oh, Mignolet, well done. Great save by the keeper. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Ooh. Chelsea with two good chances at the end. Nice. Let's go. Coutinho, bang! I can't, I can't break down Courtois. He has been just unbelievable in this game. So the game ended in a near near draw and I think we shaded it only just but Chelsea also had some good chances and away from home a near near draw isn't a bad result so I will take it. The next game in the Europa League is crucial we lost two games in a row and that's just unacceptable in the European competition I don't want to have a similarly bad record as Brandon Rodgers so I'm playing Origi, Ibe up front, Lalana behind them and I'm playing a very strong side Mignolet in goal, Sako starts go on yes yes Emre Chan. this is your moment please Ibe and oh come on how can I not score that come on Origi stay on side fake shot Origi must finish that Yes! Let's go! Devoko Ritchie! Come on, son! It must win game in the Europa League. And we take the lead. That was nice work by Origi. Okay. 
Oh my god, Flanagan! Penalty! Yes! He's done it! John Flanagan, the right back! It's the Scouser Kafu wins us a penalty! That was very smart! Because the player already slided in. Please. Come on, come on! Yes! He has done it! It's two! Come on! We can win this! We can do this in the Europa League! We can qualify to the next round, guys! Let's go! Go on, Flanagan. Oh, yes. Yes, Origi. Beautiful! That is brilliant! And Lalana makes it 3 0. Lalana! Na 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 na! Let's dance! Look at that celebration! That was fantastic counter attack! Origi did brilliantly there. He picks out Lalana, who smashes it into the top corner. Nice. Get the knife! Go on! Oh, beautiful! Lalana! Origi! Oh, he's offside. We fielded a slightly stronger team than in the previous rounds where we lost and it was a great success, especially Lalana had an outstanding game. And we basically played Rubin Kazan off the park. This Europa League group is very tight, all four teams can still qualify to the next round. But now let's play another Premier League game. We are playing Crystal Palace at home and as you can see we are only in third place because uh, the teams above us won their games but if we want to get closer to them we must win games like this okay go on Coutinho bang oh it fast to Benteke wow that was a glorious chance of course I have a smack why not oh my god what a lucky goal Ah, oh, Martin Skurta, can you believe it? Look at that. Wow, that was such a lucky goal. It takes the perfect deflection. And Skurta, who is having a brilliant season, gives us the lucky lead. Wow, it falls into the top corner. No! How did Bolassi do that? Oh, Bolassi completely wrecked me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Punchon. Wow, we are we are the luckiest team. Oh no. Oh, oh that is easy for Mignolet. That is easy peasy for Mignolet. And look at Moreno charging. Emre Can, I can see you. Penalty, ref. That's a red card, he was the last man. Oh, it's only a free kick. Unlucky. Let's see if we can bury this. Come on, Milner. Oh my, what have I done defending? Mignolet saves my ass. Oh no. Bolasi wrecked me again. No! Oh my word, we are the luckiest, they hit the post in the first half, now they are hitting the bar and you can't put the rebound in, that was a difficult technique though. Nice. Love this. Yes. Milner, bang! Oh, oh my goodness, James Milner with an absolute beauty! Come on! Another absolute worldie. I was in acres of space, so I thought, you know what? Let's let it fly. And James Milner just puts it into the top corner. Brilliant goal. Three points in the bag. Lovely strike. That is just perfect. Brilliant performance. Great victory. And we got very lucky, guys, again, because Crystal Palace hits the post and hit the bar. And we scored a very lucky deflected, deflected goal with Skirta. As you can see, it was an even game, but that Milner goal was just something special. Really happy. So anyway, results what matter. Football is a results-based business. And so far, we are flying in second place. Arsenal are still a long way away from us. 
But I'm very proud of how the team is performing. And we have to keep winning because even Tottenham are just 5 points behind us. So any slip up and we could be down to 5th, 6th place. But we have to keep performing like this if we want to finish in the top 4. That's my main aim. Here are the top scorers in the league and Coutinho is our top scorer with 5 goals. Yeah, just amazing and he scored those five goals in two games Firmino has four assists very happy but look at this Mignolet kept eight clean sheets in 12 games outstanding anyway I thanks for watching really hope you enjoyed this in the next episode we will play Manchester City which will be a massive game and I think I will bump up the legendary to, uh, bump up the difficulty to legendary in the away games so I get used to the gameplay and if we can keep if we can get results on legendary then i will start playing on legendary in every game so let me know what do you think about that in the comments below and thanks for watching guys stay awesome see you later goodbye